Hello and welcome to this video, Mozilla has recently released the first beta version of Firefox 4. And in this video, let's take a look at the new features of the next version of Firefox. With Firefox 4, Mozilla improves support for HTML5. Now what HTML5 is, is that it allows you to view rich web content without the use of third-party applications like Java and Splash. Firefox will also be supporting the video feature of HTML5, which will allow you to view videos without use of Flash or any other third-party application. Although Firefox 4 is slower than Chrome, Opera, and Safari, it is much, much faster than the current version of Firefox. And besides, for many people, the vast number of, number of add-ons available for Firefox does make it a more compelling browser to use than any others. There are many other new features of Firefox 4, including the new UI enhancements, which we'll look at next. Google Chrome revolutionized the browser interface by streamlining its design and putting the tabs on top. Opera soon followed. Even Internet Explorer got rid of the file menu as it is by default, but Firefox stayed with the traditional grandfather user interface, that is, until now. You might notice with the new Firefox user interface that the tabs are now above the navigation buttons and the address bar. You may also notice our orange Firefox button, which essentially replaces the menu bar, giving you access to more common tasks of Firefox. If you do not like this layout, you could choose Customize and select Menu Bar, or uncheck the Tabs on Top option. There's also a Bookmarks button that allo allows you to view, manage, or remove bookmarks. You may also notice that if you add a tab, it give it adds a new tab with a cool animation. With Firefox 4, Mozilla's aim is to reduce the number of annoying dialog boxes that might be in your way, and one of those uh, attempts is the new add-on manager. Before, the add-on manager used to be like the options dialog box here. Now, you could access it simply by going Customize and clicking Add-ons. A new tab opens with the web-like experience. You could view, manage, and learn about your add-ons themes, plugins, and uh, visit the add-on homepage. Now, of course, it's, Firefox 4 has not been yet released, so it says something good is coming, and I'm pretty sure it, it is going to be something good, good. But when it comes, you'll see a new add-ons homepage where you can search for and download and install add-ons. Uh, Firefox will also use balloons rather than dialog boxes. For example, if a notification is required, so a balloon will pop up from the status bar or the tab, uh, t telling you what is uh, what needs your attention, and uh, it's uh, it is going to be interesting. So let's uh, it's, uh, it's going to be an interesting ride to see what Firefox evolves into. But so let's stay tuned and see what happens. Because Firefox is in beta, I do not recommend that you use it as your primary browser, because it can contain many bugs or glitches that could crash your bra browser or make you lose data. Um, one of the more dramatic example of bug is that. When you click on the Firefox button and click print and select print preview, you see a glitch. This orange Firefox button uh, covers uh, two command buttons. Now this happens only if you're in classic mode or Windows 7 basic mode. But nevertheless, this is an quote unquote epic fail. So we are waiting for Firefox to release a stable version before we can make complete use of the new Firefox version, but until then, it's still beta, so be careful on how you use it. And if we have, if you notice a bug or glitch, or you want to leave a feedback uh, to Mozilla, they provide you with a really easy way of doing so, simply by clicking the feedback button right here. Once you click it, you'll be given the option to say why you like Firefox or you dislike Firefox. You can also view other people's studies. Uh, that Mozilla has committed, and apparently this window has a glitch too. Yeah, speaking of beta. This marks the end of this video. I feel free to leave a comment on this video. You can find me on YouTube on youtube.com slash 1992 uh, If you have any questions, comments, or requests, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, send me a message on YouTube. I'll try to uh, respond, and uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.